Hello everybody, welcome to veenaskitchen.com. I am Veena. Uh, today uh, I will show you how to make a home style kala chana curry. Uh, so um, uh, this, uh, this recipe that I am going to show you is uh, made, uh, uh, made in South India in Kerala uh, because I am from Kerala and uh, this is what my uh, mom used to make it so it will have some coconut and coconut oil and all the seasoning and flavoring will be most of it as coconut so uh, so let's see how to make kala chana uh, curry home style or uh, kadala curry home style kadala curry uh, so let's go to the recipe To make simple home style kala chana curry, we will uh, heat a pan, just pour some uh, 1 tablespoon of coconut oil. I am going to make it uh, home style that is uh, usually made at my uh, home, hometown uh, that is Kerala. Uh, so I will be using coconut oil and coconut. Okay, the pan is too hot, so I'll just reduce the flame and I will quickly add the mustard seeds into it. Half a teaspoon of mustard seeds. See this right here. The mustard is okay, it is crackling well and nice. Wow. Okay. So once it finished crackle, I am going to uh, break one Kashmiri mirch, break it into half and put it in there, add a few curry leaves, add about half a teaspoon of Ginger, so the reason I am adding ginger into it is that um, it will fry well in the coconut oil and give a uh, delicious flavor to the dish. Now let us add about um, one and a half finely chopped onion. So once the onion starts to become translucent, add about half teaspoon of salt into it. Since we already have salt in our chana, we need not add much salt. Just for the vegetable in the seasoning, we are sprinkling some salt. We'll allow the onion to turn light golden brown in color. Once the onion turns nice golden brown in color, in a very slow flame, add a pinch of turmeric powder into it, a pinch of turmeric powder, a pinch of chili powder, if you are uh, someone who likes spicy food you can add about half teaspoon or one teaspoon of chili powder saute well so that the masalas become uh, nice and roasted okay now the aroma of turmeric has spread i am going to add uh, half a teaspoon of garam masala into it a little bit of garam masala Now the aroma has spread well and nice. After adding the garam masala, you don't need to do much of roasting. You can add 
the uh, chana, uh, our boiled and uh, uh, cooked chana into it. We are going to add that. So this is the cooked and boiled chana. Just, I have not added extra water in it. The water that is already there in the chana dal, I have just added all that and just close it with the lid and let it simmer for about two minutes. I'll just add a half cup of water. Bring it to boil and then close it. Alright, you can see the water is already boiling. We'll just slow the flame and close it with the lid. And simmer it for about two minutes. Okay, now it's been two minutes. I can um, uh, smell the delicious aroma of the kadala curry. Uh, you can see, see the steam is coming out as well. I'll just open it. Be careful while opening it. You don't want to burn your hands uh, because of the steam. Okay, now it is set well and nice. Let us go ahead and switch off the flame. After switching off the flame, I'm going to add uh, some freshly grated coconut. Just a handful of uh, freshly grated coconut. Sprinkle on the top and that's it. There you go. Home style kadala curry or kalachana curry is now ready. It is fantastic uh, when uh, served with steamed rice or chapati. Again, keep it for a while. And then we will take it out in a serving dish. There you go. Delicious kadla curry is ready to be served. Delicious kadla curry is uh, ready. Uh, to be served with chapati or steamed rice. I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making this and tasting it as well. Uh, it, it turned out to be very delicious though it is very simple to make. Please do give it a try. It doesn't take much. Whatever ingredients is available at your home you can uh, definitely try it out with it. Uh, well if you have any queries please do post it in the comment box. I will uh, try to reply to your queries uh, and also if you are new to this channel please do subscribe uh, well wish you all a happy festival season thank you so much for watching Venus Kitchen hope you have a wonderful day